Hey there YouTubers, um, today I want to create a video about uh, the game uh, number 13 or XIII and um, I played uh, this game with uh, Verst, he created a online guide for the game but um, the installer or at least the installer has some little bugs when installing it on Windows 7 and that's the bug that uh, when you're trying to install the game it's for the first time it says do you want to delete your save games and then you cl can click yes or no but either way the installation just cuts off there and doesn't install the game so I'm gonna show you how it works so first uh, I've already done that to save some time but first uh, create a XIII folder on your desktop and in that folder create four for folders for every CD so like CD1, CD2, CD3, CD4 and copy the contents of every disks into the corresponding folders so um, yeah uh, then um, when you've done that like this like every disk in every folder um, go to the folder of um, CD1 and right click and select properties on the setup file and go to the compatibility tab then as you can see you need to run this program in compatibility mode on Windows 98 Windows MA and if you have done that uh, just click um, apply and OK now first off before you start up the setup.exe um, open up your um, task manager and go to the process tab well if you are trying to run the setup.exe um, there will probably uh, be a lot of processes that keep respawning called setup.exe if that happens just rename your uh, setup.exe to, uh, uh, to something else it doesn't matter what to uh, stop the respawning <coughs> of the uh, processes so let me just um, let me just uh, I'm gonna just uh, start up the setup and show you guys what happens when you run the setup so I run the setup and as you can see a lot of processes are respawning and if that happens rename it to JD or something just something else now you see that the um, the setup instantly start up, starts up after that and as you can see there is no respawning of the setup.exe but there are still a lot of processes of the setup exe don't uh, don't end them one of them just keep them there and just uh, continue with the setup so now we click next next I agree full next now it's gonna ask please insert disk that disk one that contains the setup.exe if you got this message just rename the setup to setup.exe press enter now you can see if you go to the process again you can see um, that when I renamed it again back again to setup still the processes are not respawning so if you've done that just click OK here and it's continuing so you can see it's now installing and keep an eye on the, on the processes See still the setup that EXE created in the first time. And now he's gonna ask for the second disk and then just browse 
and click on the second CD folder in your XYY folder you created on your desktop or somewhere else. So you just click OK and you see then I uh, showed it to the second folder from the second disk and just click OK. So as you can see, the, the setup continues, processes are not respawning, and the game installs fine. So, now the game is installed, and of course, we do not want anything of this, like register the project and install Adobe. Acrobat 5 and not view the readme so we just click next and as you can see um, all the processes of the setup exe disappears in the processes right now so as you can see it clearly works and then yeah um, just um, patch the game to the latest version um, you can also get the patch from the uh, from the uh, online video from Game Dexterity, so you can find the patch link there. So we just click this unofficial patch that fixes some Windows 7 stuff. So we just click next, 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 and it's now gonna install it. So after you've installed the patch, you can see there is a icon on the um, desktop and just also right click on this, go to the properties, go to the compatibility tab and run it in Windows XP Servers Pack 2 as compatibility mode. And to show you that this works, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show a little gameplay, a very very little gameplay of how the game starts up. So, uh, be right back. So as you can see we're now at the main menu of the game. And I don't know if you guys have it, but my mouse is a little bit shocky on the main menu. So, I'm just gonna click new game and show you that it works. I can't remember a thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? And as you can see, this is the first level of the game and it works fine. Uh, if you want to go online, you can use uh, Game Dexterity's online guide. And um, yeah, this is just how to install the game and uh, no problems at all. So, till the next huh? uh, video.